Well, welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in again. Hope you're all doing good. You feel very far away over there, but I need you right back so I can fit in this humongous box. So today, ugh, we have another unboxing, another new bike. So the guys at Eng Engui, Engui. How do you pronounce this? E-N-G-W-E, Engui. Anyway, they'll send me over a P26 to play with, try out, give you guys a little look at it. So we're gonna be unboxing this, building it up, and hopefully taking it for a little ride, but at the moment it's chucking it down with rain. And it's my rest day, so I don't really want to get wet. Right, Ugh. Oh, that is a weighty old steed. All right, so whilst I unpack this, I'll tell you a little bit about this bike. It does have a 250 watt motor and like a 17 amp battery, I believe. I'm not too up on my e-bike stuff, but honestly, I'm always surprised at how much power these like things kick out. And apparently it has a 100 kilometer range, and that's if you're going at like 25 kilometers an hour. So I might actually have to test that one out, you know? I do wonder if that's true. But where I live, it's really hilly. So I assume that 100 kilometer range is based on quite a flat route. Right, oh, that's a my god in there. So this bike is on sale at the moment. It is just over 1,000 euros. I think it's about 1,049 euros. It's actually a ninth anniversary and they're having like some special promo at the moment. So I'll put links down in the description. But um, you can get entered into like some prize draw and win some cool prizes. This is a very, very, very simple bike build. It's got a nice wrap on there, so you can put your shopping on there, or like attach a child seat, you know, or just carry your friend. You know, you can put your friend on the back and just ride them about. You could run an Uber service, get like a proper seat, and you could run an Uber service on an e-bike. Does anyone run Uber e-bike stuff? Like giving people a backy? Or tandem, a tandem Uber. Anyway, back to the bike, back to the bike. Right, give me one second. I'm taking it out the stand so I can actually see it on the flat because quite often when I'm setting things up I end up at weird angles. As you can see it's a very high front end, very low rear end. It is a one size fits all frame. That seems to be a common occurrence in a lot of the bikes I get sent. I mean I'm six foot one and whilst I wouldn't be able to race on this it's definitely definitely not bad for like pottering around town and for getting out and about. Right I think I should put this back in the stand and then talk you through the components on it. Right so give me a second. So it comes with a Shimano Tawny, seven speed rear derailleur. You've got a nice protector there to stop any like knocks just in case. They are heavy bikes, if you drop it, won't break anything. The battery is removable, simply pop it out with a key. Um, no idea what front chain ring this is, it's just a bit of a random one by the looks of it. It has mechanical disc brakes, a very nice comfy saddle. It's got your rack for your bakery items or whatever it is you might be carrying. Maybe a crate of beer. A crate of beer would fit on there very nicely. I'm pretty sure if we turn the computer on, it should have enough charge in there for me to show you. Yeah, see, so when you pull the, look, can you see that? The brakes attached to the brake lever. So as you pull the brake lever, turns the rear brake on. It does have this like throttle lever, but the throttle lever doesn't seem to work. I think you do actually need to connect that because I'm pretty sure it is illegal to have a bike powered by a throttle in the UK without having it registered. So that doesn't work. So it just has the pedal assist. So it has five different power modes, obviously one being the easiest will give you the longest range, five just being the most fun power mode, and that's probably the mode we're gonna ride it in. So the heads up display unit thingy is really nice, really clear. Gear shifting on Tawny is always like really smooth. It does have this adjustable stem, so you can adjust the height. So if you do want the bars up, you can have it in a more upright position. And to be honest, it's just really reliable. I mean, there's no denying how heavy these bikes are. They don't have the highest end components on them, but honestly, they work. I would say they're pretty affordable. If you want to be riding to the shops, getting out for like longer rides, but you're concerned about your fitness, or you're on a rest day and you just want to like go for a bit of a poot all around town, I think they're ideal. As you saw in the last video, we built one up for Willow, 
And I'm now thinking maybe this bike might be better suited to her. She does prefer the bars higher, you've got a rack. So maybe we might be switching them up. I'm not sure. So maybe we should go out, ride them together so we can compare them. The one that we bought for Willow is 300 pounds more than this, but then it does come with a carbon belt drive. There's a lot more assembly required on that one. We should take them out and we'll ride them side by side and do a bit of a real world comparison. It's an e-bike created for everyday use. It's not like a crazy mountain bike. It's not, you're not gonna go miles and miles on the road. It's got a good range, good price point. What do you guys reckon? Should we do a video where we take them out and do a bit of a ride? Should I go out of Willow We'll take them out and we'll do a bit of a bike swap comparison. Let me know what you guys think down below. For now, I really need to clean up this room. It's had like two bike builds in it and it's just completely trashed. My hallway is like full of boxes. Like I said, Engui, it's their ninth anniversary. They're having a special promo over on the website to so do check out the links in the description. If you are interested in this bike, again, links in the description. And stay tuned for the next video where you're gonna have myself, a cyclist and a non-cyclist giving you our opinion on two very nice e-bikes. Right. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.